Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fader. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 20th and the 27th of July 2019. Before I begin today, I want to remind you that if you want to join my webinary advanced or beginners class, you can study with me from wherever you are around the world. There are details how to contact me at the end of this video. So, this is where I talk about the celestial soup we're all swimming in and we're all affected by. All zodiac signs. Did you feel the last eclipse? How did it change you? How did it touch you in your life? Was it strange, eerie time, dramatic time for a lot of people? Ain't that the truth? Anyway, so what kind of week are we having? I want to say that this is a week that we should be very focused, that we should keep on rowing our little rowboat through this vast ocean that we should believe that we should be hopeful that things will materialize and indeed they have a great potential for materialization as this week progresses this is really a week that we should push it up to Thursday including if we want to take the full potential out of this week as on Thursday we're having a very lucky formation in the sky that has to do a lot with um, bringing more bounty in the realms of material existence. So truly in bringing satisfaction to this material plane that we're all interacting with, this is a good week. This is a week that we should, we should keep working faithfully, sacredly, honorably on the things that we want to cultivate in our lives where is this a sensitive week this is a sensitive week with loved ones this is a sensitive week with um, any kind of relationship or partnership that you're really loyal to over a long period of time in these matters as Juno is conjunct by Mars we could be more aggressive, more intolerant, and go towards individuation more rapidly and hastily than we really should. Since there is such a need to move forward throughout this week and throughout these weeks and times, we could really be throwing away people that are of value and, and projects that are of value things that are of value in our life currently just because we want to be lighter and already progress and that would be a grave mistake so um sunday the 21st great day in the sky you know it's a uh, kazemi inferior conjunction of mercury to the sun the ancients used to take to, used to take this time to visualize and really plan how they would want their business and more of materialistic aspects, monetary aspects, interaction with other um, buyers, family members, neighbors, and their community for the next three months. An inferior conjunction is more about physical and earthly matters, while an uh, exterior conjunction uh, is more about philosophies and spirit. So, this is a day that we're having a Kazemi and this is also a day that we could overindulge ourselves as there is a square from the moon to Jupiter. It's a good day business-wise. We could, I mean, if we take risks that day, we could uh, win. But we have to be careful not to be too intense that day, not to be um, too driven and almost obsessed with our ideas and definitely not cynical or bitter or vengeful especially with our loved ones as there is an opposition between Venus and Pluto um, other than that the night time Eastern European time on the, of the 21st that's noon time at uh, the USA and I think morning time of the 22nd um, in Australia it's a great time to spend with loved ones and friends and Monday the 22nd communicative and very pleasant 
It's a good day between the sexes. It's a good day um, just to interact with other people. We could be a little more childish that day and not as um, logical. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. We need that energy. We need it to move forward and not scrutinize ourselves all the time. Tuesday the 23rd, the sun is moving into Leo. Happy birthday all you Leos. And this is a day as Tuesday progresses and Wednesday commences that we're entering a T-square in the sky between Venus and Mercury and the Sun on one hand and then Pluto and Saturn on the other and then the Moon here squaring these two and that T-square can induce a lot of self-judgment and a lot of scrutiny and just harshness and coldness both felt from others and exhibited that we should really try to um, soften and warm up don't be too intense on Wednesday Thursday on the other hand we have to push forward this is a day that Mercury and Venus are conjunct great day for business great day to sign deals within this Mercury retrograde and it's not a day with a lot of tolerance with the moon conjunct Uranus so really watch it you know if you feel that others in your environment are letting you down because they're not moving as fast ahead as you would want them maybe not changing as fast as you would want them or things are not changing as fast as you would want them to change be careful of your own intolerance on that day um, and 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 Thursday you know is also the time that Mars is exactly going to try and Jupiter that's why I said that this is a week that we should poof, push towards our goals whenever Mars trines Jupiter this is a time that we could achieve more that we could leap over things that have halted us in the past and Friday we're having a lucky morning Eastern European time that's Thursday night USA that's Friday afternoon Australia we're having an amazing formation in the sky that's really good to bring bounty into the material plane both on a monetary and just on a satisfactory level on a comfort level that's another reason that I said with all this Leo happening in the sky Venus moving also into Leo late uh, Saturday early Sunday morning we have an obligation and a duty to lead right now to create right now to believe in our ability to wish things true right now to believe in the message that we bring forth right now to believe in life and light and love and I'm putting a song by Lumina Om at the end that speaks exactly about that and that Venus opposition Pluto I hope you enjoy it have a beautiful week live long and prosper and thank you for sharing and commenting on these videos bye bye Thank you.
Thank you.